What's up, y'all? I'm really trying to nail this tutorial. It's Ian again, talking about kicking up in the middle of the room in one progression. First idea we're trying to get here is how to put your torso over your hands without doing much with your legs at all. Most people lead with their legs like this. And that still leaves most of my body there. If I lead with my torso like this, then I barely need to move my legs at all to float. Start in a lunge position, claw grip, and just extend the front leg and lift the back leg, which should stay straight, so that you invert your torso and put your weight over your hands. This also brings my hips over my hands. Now I start to add a little momentum with the back leg as I turn over my chest, or my torso, and I start to find that I'm really floating here. I don't have much jump, right? And I don't have much rotation or arch. All I have is just torso turning over. Make sure that you don't leave your torso behind like this or you'll never float. This should take away the fear because this front leg is right there ready to grab the ground, right? It didn't even leave even though this leg's all the way up here and my hips are high. So take small jumps at first or rotations and then just add a little bit of spring to it and then start to lift up the front leg and just keep floating until you need to push with your fingers and now you're hand balancing. Once your balance is in your hands, that's when you're hand balancing. Main thing to avoid, don't start from too far behind your hands, too far this way, right? Because then you'll have such a far jump forward, it'll be hard to control, right? You'd have to go like that, and that'll be harder to gauge. Also, remember, even though you have to bring your shoulders to some degree over your hands to invert your torso, you don't want to throw your shoulders forward, otherwise you'll walk a little bit or you'll planche, and if you don't have that planche strength, face plant, right? Catch an elbow if you need to. Uh, so, use this progression to help you float into the handstand and float so slowly that you can actually control it with your fingertip and wrist strength.